Within New York State, only this highland south of the Allegheny River near the modern-day city of Olean escaped the Laurentide. Here the geology is different from any other, where most of the rest of upstate lies atop rocks and soil dragged into the region from the north by enormous glaciers that advanced and retreated repeatedly over thousands of years. This area features remnants of ice age movements from a much earlier time. These enormous boulders may have advanced from the distant southeast or even from deep within the earth when an enormous continent broke in two to form North America and Africa. This rock formation is a 350 million year old conglomeration of polished quartz fragments suspended in sedimentary material piled up over millennia, layer upon layer. The speed of flowing water in which these quartz pebbles were suspended is recorded forever in wavy patterns of rigid stone. Where the stones are close together, the flow rate was slower than where they appear farther apart. This particular collection of rock formations has its own unusual microecology. Trees anchored on top of these monoliths appear to have sprouted recently, but in fact may be 100 years old or older. Their roots have penetrated minute cracks in the rock surface to tap moisture seeping down from ancient mossy soil mats above. It's possible that 200,000 years or more before present time early humans stood atop this rock formation facing northward. If so, the landscape, as it appeared to them at that time, was doomed, destined for obliteration in the colossal, mile-thick, ice-borne destruction of the Wisconsinan period, a cataclysmic geological event that would occur thousands of years in the future. That destruction is now complete and visible everywhere in the region. Today, in the 21st century, Ice Age formations are the landscape of upstate New York.